Hey guys, what's happening? It's me, Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and I'm here with your college football week two rapid fire picks. With me today, I've got Sean Higgs to give us the plays. What's happening, Higgs? Not much ready for, I guess this is like the first weekend of football, football. We got NFL and college going, so... A lot of action, a lot of action. It's going down for real. It's going down for real. And we also have a special over at picksandparlays.net. Your opening week, NFL opening week special, only $49 at picksandparlays.net backslash rapid fire. And if you don't want to type that in, you can find, click on the link in the description of this video. Um, but that's not just NFL picks. That's your college football, your NFL, your MLB, all of it for opening week, um, $49. So really good deal there, Higgs. Yeah, uh, I got. I already got like nine games up, and I'm. That's just some NFL and a couple of college. That's not even. I got to probably at least another ten games going to be fired in before we even get to baseball. So it's definitely worth it. People like to bet. Come on, get on board. Have a nice <laughs> I like to give you stuff to bet on. All right. Yeah, fifty nine percent with college so far out of the gate, pretty good. And uh, I think preseason football was the same fifty nine percent. So we're heading good in football first week. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. All right. Well, I've got five college football games that go down on Saturday, September the 11th. You're going to tell me what your play is. We're going to start out with Oregon at Ohio State. Ohio State's the favorite, minus 14 and a half, total 63 and a hook. What do you got? Yeah, normally I see this little half and I want to jump on the, the favorites here, but I'm actually going to take Oregon. I like Oregon at 14. I'm, I'm, I get an extra half point. I'm a little good. Concerned. I had Minnesota last week. I had Fresno last week. I went against both these guys, specifically based on this game, because I thought Oregon would be looking ahead. And it's a sloppy game. He barely pulled it out. I get it. Didn't look too good. Ohio State, slow out of the gate. Again, you got a new quarterback on the road. Fans different. But you know, Oregon's got some speed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the points here. They're not gonna look as bad. Ohio State won't look that as as, as good as they looked in the second half. You know, Oregon's got some good players. I'm gonna take the 14 and a half. A little nervous, but Give me the beeves here to get it done. The ducks, not the beeves. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Stay out of it. I should have just said Oregon. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's all good. It's, if I wasn't such a big ducks fan, I, you know, I wouldn't hold it against you. All right. So next one up, we've got the Texas A&M Aggies at Colorado. A&M's the favorite on the road, minus 17. And we've got a total of 50 on this one. Yeah, I'm looking at this, you know, and it's at mile high. A&M was, what, 10 to 3 to half last week. Ugly start to their season. Covered with the missed field goal, shady nonsense. Colorado. This game for me, I'm I'm going to go actually over the total, believe it or not. I was thinking AM, I'm like, you know what? If they're going to come out and play good ball, they're going to put up a 40 spot themselves. So I'm going to go over to 50 here in uh, John Elway territory. Yeah, there you have it. I'm on Colorado's side here. You give me 17 points with my home dog. I, I, it's hard for me not to take that. It's just hard. So I was at Iowa State. Cyclones are the favorite, minus four and a half, and our total is 46 in this one. Yeah. Uh, what do you, I think both of these guys are in the top 10 or something. These guys are pretty ranked. I mean, amazing. So you know it's going to be a slugfest. It always is. Uh, is there any way to go besides the under here? I just got to take the under. Last week, Two pick sixes for touchdowns. I mean, you couldn't do nothing. The game stayed under. I was happy for that Iowa game stayed under. But, I mean, like, uh, I, you almost want to take the points here because of the rivalry. But I'm going to be played safe. Ugly game. I, I'm hoping not too ugly, but it goes to overtime. I end up turned into some wild 36-33 game. But I'm looking like 17-16, 24-18, something low score in here. Give me the under. All right, we're taking it under. Texas at Arkansas. Longhorns are the favorite by seven, 56 and a half. Yeah, we're going to hook them with the horns here. We're going Texas. This line was actually three and a half, opened at a three and a half line last week. I saw some like three and a half all day. Texas all day. You beat a better opponent, and it was a trendy dog opponent there who they played, right? Everybody's like, oh, they're going to get picked off here. This is a good. The Raging and, Cajuns, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I was on the Raging Cajuns. They're borderline top 25, top 30 team. They're good. Um, and Arkansas buried me there. I was had the nice dog. I'm looking pretty. I'm up 17 14, and they scored, you know, whatever. I lose that point. But again, that team five, it had been five and 32 straight up. So, I mean, I didn't think they should be favored. And here, a touchdown, they, they're not that good. They haven't improved that much. I understand their home. You want to take a home dog, SEC, right, 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 whatever. Give me Texas. Uh, I, I don't see a route, but that should be a double digit win for him. Let's go. Yeah. 
I would agree with that. You take a home dog when you're getting a whole bunch of points, not a touchdown. Um, Stanford is at USC. Uh, USC minus 17. Last one for the round. 52 and a half is your total. Yeah, you know, this game, you know, going back to last week's opener here, Stanford was playing K-State. They were a little fave. It flipped, and they just looked absolutely terrible. It was just a – I watched a little bit on TV. I'm like, oh, let me turn on. I saw uh, – they called the timeout. They're, they used their second timeout with 12 minutes to go in the third quarter. I'm like, wow, this is a, off to a bad start here, early start game. So they can't look that bad. And USC with Hilton at, at head coach, I can't trust them to this kind of number. I can't. Uh, give me Stanford. I, I didn't think – uh, they're that bad, as bad as they were last year. You know, they tossed that up with the whole how good you are, how bad you are. A lot of moving parts last season. So I kind of threw that out. But 17 points, I, I had to take 17, just based on the, the head coach, the two head coaches. One guy's actually was usually pretty good besides last week. And the other guy in USC, he's just, has he still got a job? I don't even know. Give me 17. <laughs> so there's that. All yeah, right, here. <laughs> that is our college football rapid fire for Saturday, September the 11th. Don't forget to check out the very special deal we have going on. Get Higgs's NFL opening week special. It's NFL, MLB, and college football all weekend long for only $49. Click on that link in the description on, of this video on YouTube or Facebook, or just type in picksandparlays.net slash rapid. Thanks, Higgs. Good luck. Adios.